10 years ago, when I bolted this section of the wall, I thought it was impossible. Now I'm here to find out if something has changed. This place is so unique. It hasn't been bolted until 2010. Basically until now everything is climbed. All the possible lines except for this section, the hardest part of the wall. And I bolted in 2011 and 12. I bolted this line. This is the main original idea. And I always dismissed this right exit to be like, ah, it's going to be 8C, it's too easy, it's not worth it. But I was quite wrong. <laughs> There is this amazing sequence that is definitely way more than AC. I think it's going to be 90 plus, something like that. So that's the plan for today. In realtà, eh, in questo caso qua non ho completamente chiodato io da, perché era già iniziata da, da Adam. Io solo completato diciamo quella che aveva iniziato lui, però anche sul suo, sul suo consiglio di dove mettere i chiodi nella parte alta specialmente, poi lui mi ha, mi ha anche aiutato a mettere la sosta perché un giorno ero qua da solo e non mi fidavo a fare il traverso e mi ha, mi ha dato una mano, è stato molto, molto gentile, molto, è stata un'esperienza coinvolgente insomma, mi piace. This is the, the challenge of the, the new top climbers, no? To find, to go on, on the evolution finding new lines possible to climb. It's the limit now in between having a very, very small hold and nothing is very, very tiny, that limit. And uh, this, this is the, the big uh, challenge of uh, new climbing. Uh, there is a really bad knee bar you can release, but the foothold is so, so bad that you can't really stay for a long time without your hands and then it's a section of i don't know maybe almost 14 moves that are very technical very fingery a little bit powerful and quite pumpy you're like trying hard for a pretty long time The good thing of the really modern climbing, to research the maximum of, of the difficulties, you research the rock. And today I could see this line like a big S to connect uh, the old footholds and the holds for the hands with the really improbable moves. In these last two years, especially with Adam, I could see new kind of movements, which is really, really powerful, but at the same time, really, really technical and really of body feeling. Really amazing moves. Quite hard for the skin. Definitely need good conditions. It's like slopey things with like little spikes that are really biting into your skin and if the skin and the conditions are good they really stick if some of it is not working it's not working sono tutte belle se la natura ha fatto un lavoro incredibile c'è una presa in particolare su dopo l'ultimo riposo che Adam incastra le ginocchia c'è un, un funghetto che non, non, io non riesco a capire come fa a tenerla perché guarda praticamente in giù e c'è il pollice e è incredibile. Però in realtà la roccia è tutta bella. L'unica cosa che non mi piace è che non, io non potrò scalarla perché è troppo difficile.
My fingertips are good. Cazzo tu hai, hai mani da bambino in confronto. Da bambino? <ride> in confronto alle mie. These are a little bit worse. No, in tom projektu, co tam teďka mám, než vojprstovku, natáhneš se do takové drži ty oblé, a pak je fakt strašná rozpaška do takové věci, která jako se cena všechny čtyři prsty, ale tím, jak jsi tam rozpražená, tak tam jdou, dáte jenom dva. A problém je, že prostě jak tam jsem rozpražený, tak nejsem schopen to rameno udržet vzadu, a jde mě dopředu, a pak už prostě nemám tu sílu, abych to dostatečně zbrzdil a byl dostatečně přesný. Tak zkusíme nějaké cviky na, na to, aby zůstal, aby vlastně v té pozici ho dostal z té šp... Řekněme špatné pozice do té dobré pozice. Dobře. Volný trapez, povolený trapez. Aby skoukal přímo před sebe a rotuješ. A rotujem tak. Super. Nadechneš a výdech vracíš zpátky. Super. conditions, the air is crystal clear. I mean, that could have been the try. I was feeling really good cruising through the lower moves of the cracks. Mm. I got the two finger pocket, I got the crimp. Yeah. Then it's kind of strange to keep the tension and bring my left foot up. And at that point, my right foot slipped. But I thought no. like I could have done it. Still, you have maybe five more moves to go. Um, still quite pumpy. Uh, but I hope I had a chance on my next try. Talking about Arco that now is a mecca of the new climbing of the most modern climbing. For uh, I think for 10 years uh, the, the evolution of climbing has stopped here recently after uh, Francois Legrand and many, many other climbers who bolted uh, some areas. There was uh, a period of uh, stop. And now with uh, Stefano Gisolfi, with Adam and with new climbers of the top level, uh, there are new cliffs, new routes, and Arco is uh, burning again as uh, the top of uh, climbing places. You are waiting for the strong one. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of these days when the conditions are so good that you actually can't fall off. Unfortunately, I did fall off. I gave it two tries. I was pretty, pretty convinced that I had a good chance for my second try. On my second try, I stuck this move. I was a little more tired. I made this big spin two finger pocket. I managed to come down to the two finger pocket, but I was already quite tired. And then I decided to clip because I thought that the fall would maybe be kind of awkward because it goes into the pendulum. I clipped, I matched, and I realized I just couldn't do the crossover move. Um, I mean, it would have been such a good day to send it, but hopefully tomorrow could be another day. I think every, every day I'm trying and staying in this crack. I like it more. It, it has the magic, you know, around here in the olive groves and high above the valley. Makes me excited because I think, I hope I can get this right variation done pretty soon and then there is the left variation that um, could be an IB plus and I think that could be a nice candidate for, for the next project.
it was on the very absolute fucking limit. <laughs> ah. Conditions just couldn't be better. I felt good. Everything was perfect. That these last four moves are way harder than I thought. Like the crossing over move, I just barely didn't get it. And then I was just pumped out of my mind. And this, this move, when you get this, this, you get this too far and you have to throw your knee bar all the way here. Oh my God, it was just the strength of my will. But it worked. I think the, the, the route is absolutely epic. Perché stavo... E' qui! Sto blocco un po' di cazzo! No! No, ma sporto che to sarà bravo! Upena, Max! A no tak mám rado, že to je jako... Těžké, no, si myslím... Ty poslední čtyři kroky, které jsou vytrvalostní, si myslím, že jsou fakt vytrvalostní, no. Argument, proč bych se přikládnil k 9B, je, že to koleno pod kraxem si myslím, že jen tak nikdo neudělá. To je velmi zajímavé koleno, protože stojíš v podstatě na tření, máš teda koleno dobrý, musíš takhle svírat jakoby i tou druhou rukou. Uby to kuza a, a přestírat, že jsi úplně v pohodě. <laughs> Ale pak už cítíš, že už padáš. <laughs> pak to ještě jsem si udělal konec trošku zajímavý, no, protože tam stále chybí ten slaňák, takže tam je, byla sekce, kterou nebyla zkoušená, takže jsem si připadal, že rozuchlí se valo, že? Ne, že by to bylo nebezpečný, ale že jsem tam fakt nechtěl spadnout 6C, ale všechno jsem třikrát kontroloval, jestli to je opravdu, opravdu pevný. A myslím, že jeden z nejhezčích průjistů, který jsem byl já. Looking at those lines never ceases to amaze me. Once the right line, the orange line, is finished, there is still the harder variation, the red line, the very original that I bought it back in 2012, which is gonna be definitely harder. Today there is Jakob Schubert. He came to Arco for a weekend, and it's great because we can work on this harder line together. In terms of beta, how to climb through the very hard crux of the red line. First time for you here? Yeah, I've never climbed here. First time climbing. Looks really good. It's special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> special in terms of like tufa climbing or... Yes. And it's weird that you have tufas and for example like no feet right and left. Yeah. So not so many knee bars. And <laughs> there are some, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole year I'm like kind of planning to at least like find something that I really want to put more effort in. Yeah. And yeah. maybe one day be able to climb as hard as you. 9C <laughs> would be cool. A lot of hard roots here. Eh? <laughs> nice. Oh. oh yeah, now you use this weird hole. <laughs> it looked so funny. Touch the sloper on the side, yes. And right right hand up. Like that it's solid, no problem. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Yeah, and but first you like turn it into the underclink. Yeah. Oh, really? I think the the crossing over, if you come from the ground, might be the crux. Oh wow! Oh, it's so cold. I think it will be hard to do tries right now. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cold actually. <laughs> it's crazy up there. It's but cool, yeah, but no, frustratingly frustrating is strange, no? I also know what you mean with like you need it. Like now it felt like really cold to actually try, but at the same time you really yeah. need it cold because it's like if such a there corny. is no wind, there is like the the mushroom. If there is no wind, it yeah. always feels a little wet and yeah, and the crimps. I feel like if it would be if like my skin would hurt a tiny bit, there was yeah. no way even going for that last move because yeah. I would. <laughs> I think I would cut my whole hand because it's like really sharp. But I mean that move, like when I'm like there and I'm about to move, it feels like completely possible. But yeah. at the same time, it feels like you can easily miss this hold. Yeah. Yeah. And when you come from the ground, this must be like, <laughs> you have to be so nervous on that move. 
But yeah, I mean, uh, I would have to figure out, like, for me, what felt like impossible when I tried first time is like going from the knee yeah. bar to the mushroom. You, but you, you think without really a knee bar, you can do it right? without a knee bar? Just yeah, using I don't it know. as I a shoulder? I haven't tried enough. Maybe you could even use it as an underclink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. I think. Imagine, yeah, the, the heel makes it possible. Like you can heel and at the same time, like go with the toes on the lower foot. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Come on. Yeah, I don't know.